Welcome back to GMA. Forget about football and baseball. The newest high school sport may have your kids tinkering with technology. ABC's Maggie Ruley joins us from Los Angeles with more. Maggie, good morning. Good morning, Wit. I wish they had this when I was in high school. These kids are treated like rock stars, and organizers say that's the whole point, to show these students that robotics is a sport where every kid can go pro. One, go! This is their Super Bowl. It's really, really intense and so, so exciting. More than 15,000 student athletes from around the world are battling it out in Houston this weekend. The only difference between our sport and all the others will be in our sport, every kid can turn pro. This is FIRST for inspiration and recognition of science and technology, a worldwide program that combines the high-intensity world of sports with STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math. There's 625-pound robots try and score as many points as possible. Each year, teams of high school students dedicate weeks of their lives to designing, building, and programming a robot made to compete in a specific challenge. This teaches you so many life skills. So far, states like Connecticut, Minnesota, New Jersey, and Texas have declared robotics an extracurricular sport statewide. Our vision would be that every every school in the United States and every school around the around the world uh, would have a robotics team. Josh Harmon's the starting left guard for his varsity football team, and he says it's robotics that will set him up for life. I can play a game of football, and it's a lot of fun. Or I can join a first robotics team and impact people's lives forever. And several of the globe's largest companies are investing in the sport, including Disney and Lucasfilm, the group behind Star Wars. I'm very excited to announce that Disney and Lucasfilm are teaming up with FIRST as part of the Star Wars Force for Change philanthropic initiative. Giving these students new dreams in this new sport. A lot of girls are scared to go into a male-dominated field, but I think it's something that any woman is capable of if they want to be it. Now, on top of those 15,000 student athletes, there are also 15,000 spectators cheering them on right now in Houston. Because all of that is only the first half. Another 30,000 attendees are expected in Detroit next weekend for the second half of the competition. Dan? It's awesome. Maggie, thank you very much. You were, a, you are, were and are a STEM person. Yeah. Lots of math. Did you do robots? I didn't do robots, just math team and physics team. Which I, I'm, you know, whatever. Just, just the fun stuff. <laughs> just like, the party. We, like, exactly. we like to sit there with our papers and like scribble out formulas and answers. <laughs> yeah. Love it. She's crazy, people. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.